Hello and welcome to our first English Pokemon Go bot video. My name is Christoph and I show you how you can buy our bot and use it. The first thing you have to do is to go here and buy our bot. You can pay via PayPal or Bitcoins like you want. After the payment is completed, you will get an email from us, uh, probably like this. Uh, you find uh, links to important web pages like our homepage and you will get your CDK. This is very important. Don't lose it and don't share it. Okay, after you received your CDK, I show you now where you can get the latest version of our bot. You just go to our homepage and scroll down to the latest posts. Here, here you will always find the latest version of our bot. Just click it and here you find the download link. After you downloaded this file, you have to unpack it. I use WinRAR for this. You may use other tools, of course. So, and just click here. I already entered my CDK and the bot starts. We have four different tabs on the top. It's dashboard, navigation, settings and console. In dashboard you will find session statistics and uh, overall player statistics. Uh, these are generated from Nintendo and just displayed here. Here you can run the bot and stop the bot. Under the navigation tab you can select where you want to start your bot. You see, you can use the whole world for this. Of course, I think it's the safest if you don't switch between Berlin and New York in five minutes. Uh, you probably get a soft ban for this. Um, but you can do what you want. Um, you, you just have to zoom in where you want to start and press the send bot to center location button. On the right you can select if you want the bot to be walking or teleporting. Of course uh, I would suggest to use walking and 12 kilometers per hour because I think it's the safest. Uh, like I said, uh, until now I don't think there are permabands, but it could be in future. And better safe than sorry, I think. But of course you can choose what you want. Okay, the next tab is settings. Uh, here you, you have to enter your Pokemon uh, account data. If you use a uh, a Google account, then select Google. Uh, don't write your username here, you have to write your email here and your password. After you entered your login data, click Save Password. All other options get saved automatic, but password have to be saved separately. It's because of security. Uh, here you see your CDK again. Here you can choose which uh, f functions of our bot you want to use. Um, all settings except under navigation and uh, the authentication here are uh, standard safe. If you don't know what you do, don't change it. Okay. Um, under console you will get a log about what the bot was doing or is doing. But you will always see it here. I will now enter my details and show you how it's working. You see the bot starts to log in. 
I have a Pokemon Trainer account. Oh, where does it start? I didn't used uh, to send bot to send out location. Oh, I started in Amsterdam. Fine. <laughs> uh, you can also see where your bot is if you look at navigation. You see, it has uh, found a Pokemon. It you uh, used a Pokestop. It's walking, not teleporting. Okay, fine. Um, if you use a Google account, um, um, like I said, enter uh, where the username is, your email, and on a password, your password. But if you use two-factor authentication, then you have to enter in, uh, a, a, not your password. You have to enter a token here. I will link it in the video description so you can uh, also log in with it. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, you probably noticed English is not my mother language and it's probably not the best. <laughs> But I hope you understand. Uh, if not, you can uh, write in our Pokemon Go bot forum or uh, contact me via uh, um, email. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and have fun. Bye bye.